G'day guys, welcome to this Thursday edition of the show where I report the latest in gaming news. Today I'm in Sydney and thanks to Boom Natives for letting me film here. I didn't have anywhere to film and my video that I actually had planned didn't go to plan. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack the like button at the end of the video. And now let's get into the gaming news. Big news! So our first news report of the day is about the new PlayStation 4 update coming very soon. Sony has announced that it's due for release in the coming weeks and it's going to be a major firmware update with new options and features added to the system. Some of those are going to be sharing and streaming functionalities, but on top of that, there's going to be a video editor. Apparently this video editor is actually meant to be pretty damn awesome, so I'm excited to see what that actually looks like. I know there's one on the Xbox One which is really, really good to use, so hopefully Sony does something very similar and provides a really good video editor. Now one of the big things coming to this update is something that I'm really looking forward to, and that's the HDCP being turned off. So to see this being turned off after months of the system being out, it's really, really awesome. Now to our next piece of news is about EA and Titanfall because EA has secured rights to Titanfall 2. I know the game's only been out for what, like a week now and they've already started talking about the second game, but the game is a huge title. It's the number one selling game on the Xbox One. The numbers it's recording around the world is just insane, so to see it doing, the numbers it's recording around the world is just insane. So yeah, it's gotta be talked about for the second, or should I say the sequel of the game. Now one question that's being thrown up in the air is will this next game actually be on the PlayStation 4? Because we know it's on the Xbox One, we know it's on the PC, but will it come to the Sony system? That's something that they aren't discussing just yet, but I'll keep you guys informed on that news. Personally, I hope it does come to the PlayStation 4 because more gamers get to experience this great game, the better it is. Now, since we are talking about sequels, here's another sequel to talk about, and it's another Assassin's Creed game. It seems like this news comes out about March every single year because, well, there's an Assassin's Creed game every single year. So this time around, it looks like Assassin's Creed will be going to Paris, France. A screenshot was leaked which I can't show you guys here, but it's pretty damn cool looking. Now, if you do want to check it out, I have linked it down below, but I can't show you guys in this video because, well, Ubisoft won't be too happy about that. Finally, if you're wondering, what will this next Assassin's Creed game be called? Well, it's not gonna be called Assassin's Creed 5 or something like that. It's gonna be called Assassin's Creed Unity. That's according to a report, and that's most likely what it's gonna be called, but then again, that could be a working title. I'll definitely keep you guys up to date like I do with everything else on that, because Assassin's Creed is a massive, massive franchise in the gaming industry. Anyway, now we move to our final news report of the day, and it's about Sony's new VR headset. I've mentioned this here and there over the last couple of years, because only a few little details have been coming out. We've seen prototypes, types and things like that, but nothing substantial. That's until now because Sony has revealed the Project Morpheus. It does look pretty cool, but it also actually offers a pretty damn awesome experience. Because if you have a PlayStation 4, basically how it's going to work is it has a light built into it. So if you have the eye camera, it's going to track you. It's going to track your movements left and right, up and down, going forward and back. Then if you have the DualShock 4 controller, which obviously you would have if you have a PlayStation 4, it's going to connect through the controller too. So everything's pretty much being tracked. So you're moving your head, you're moving the controller, whatever, you're doing it in real life, it translates into the game and that's just amazing. If you want to read more about it because there's so much information to actually look into, I have linked all that stuff down below, you guys can check that out. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gaming news, but now it is time for the Gorilla Man question. And since I'm in Sydney, Gorilla Man had to actually tweet it at me and BAM! Here it is. What accessory do you want to see added to your gaming console and why? So put your answer down below in the comment section, you can on the next show of today's video, make sure you smack the like button because I'm Chan Chong, my access is Young. Yeah.